Do you mind? Well, since you ask, yes, I do mind. Come on, James. It's time you pulled yourself together. Didn't you hear what I told you last night? John Paul's moving on. Yes, you told me you saw him out on a date and there was a moment between him and some... Oh, low-ranking copper. That copper has a face like a Grecian god. Oh, my darling. Look. George may indeed be pulchritudinous. Can't you just say handsome? But you are exceptionally bright. You are astute, you are charming, you are funny. But most importantly, you are a nightingale. And as we know, the nightingales are famed for their beautiful love song. So if you want John Paul, then you have to go out and get him. This isn't like you. You and George, it was just a misunderstanding. Everything I said made it worse. He said he could sense something between James and I. Well, then set him straight. What if he doesn't listen? Oh, but what if he does? There is a great characteristic that is shared amongst our whole family, oh. and that is, if you fall at the first hurdle, then jump up and try again. And I've seen you do that with a plum. So, if you want George, then... Go out and get him. Exactly. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. You were pretty insistent. Yeah, well, things just didn't exactly go according to plan yesterday. Oh, you mean before or after I spotted that lovelorn look between you and your ex? Come for a drink with me. Tea, coffee, whatever, really. Just, just give me the chance to talk to you properly and not like a dribbling idiot like I was yesterday. John Paul. Look, I am notoriously bad at first dates, but second dates I am, I am brilliant at. Uh-huh. If it isn't the village's two most eligible bachelors embarking on their voyage romantique. What do you want, James? To let you know that I've packed up the stuff that you left at my house. I need you to come pick it up this afternoon. So I'm going through some renovations and I have my designer coming over, so... Yeah, fine. Whatever. Good. Just need to get on with Marie Kondoing you out of my life. Hmm. Is he always so, um, pretentious? Yes, and cold and arrogant and selfish. Look, George, um... Please give me another chance. 